All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So uh, here we are again talking about another chapter in the whole McCole Harbin situation. Uh, I'm, I'm personally, I'm, I'm, I'm beyond it. Uh, I'm just over the signing. I'm over the trade. I'm, I'm, I'm just comp completely over it and 2023. But we have another... Um, I guess, revelation that that is currently being talked about, right? Now, as we all know, McCall Hardman uh, went on Ryan Clark's podcast and basically just ripped the Jets apart, calling out Nathaniel Hackett, essentially saying he doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, the Jets offensive coaching staff doesn't really have a clue. They don't have many answers. It's just, it's Aaron's team and he's going to do whatever he wants. Uh, as far as special teams go, uh, goes, it's, look, according to Hardman, he was lied to. He was uh, not treated uh, the best and because of that Hardman essentially refused to uh, you know participate in place of Xavier Gibson so long story short he's not seeing time he's not contributing at all he ends up getting traded on October 18th but now we're seeing tweets from Thomas Morstead from Sauce Gardner from Kenny Eboa uh, basically coming out and criticizing Hardman right and in particular Eboa and Sauce Gardner's tweets alluded to the fact that he leaked the offensive game plan to the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, as we all know, I, I mean, I guess it's not really like too, too surprising that the Jets offense struggled in that game. You know, they, they struggled in pretty much every game. But I, I think, you know, if you look at the timelines, right, that game, I believe, was October 15th. He was traded three days later. Um, I don't know how true this is but if you have two Jets players like on Twitter talking about it uh hinting at it I, you know I, obviously this is being talked about within the organization so you know it's disappointing right obviously it's super disappointing I'll, I'll say this right Joe Douglas spoke at the combine today and said despite all the losing he feels good about the culture in place we got to get the culture figured out we cannot have we cannot be talking about like winning the division, hosting playoff games, winning the Super Bowl. If you constantly have young players frustrated, if you have constant negative storylines, uh, if you have situations like this where a player potentially um, leaked an entire an entire offensive game plan to the Philadelphia Eagles. Hardman obviously played at Georgia. There's a lot of Georgia players on the Eagles. You know, I, I'm just... I just want this team to be ran like a professional organization. Now, kudos to the Jets for uh, parting, you know, trading him when they did. If, in fact, Joe Douglas and Sala and Hackett, they knew about this, uh, then it makes a lot more sense on why they just, you know, signed him, had him for five games, didn't use him, and then just traded him away for essentially nothing in 2025 sixth. And we also attached a seventh round, of two, uh, you know, to the Chiefs deal. Um, but it's just like enough of this, right? We... we I need to see a professional organization here. We need to get the culture down pat. And Aaron Rodgers has talked about it, right? We we all knew about the athletic story that came out, uh, whatever that, like a month ago. I just want to be, I just want to operate like the majority of these teams that are consistently making the playoffs, right? So, man, hopefully this is the last time we're going to be talking about, you know, McCole Hardman and this whole saga here. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, go Jets.